Hi everyone, welcome to ACE Engineering Academy and ACE Online. This video is regarding an important notification for GATE students related to PhD program in IIM Calcutta. So this is for PhD in management related courses. Okay, so let us see the details of this particular notification in the official website only. So official website is iamcal.ac.in. So here if you go into the programs, doctoral programs, admissions, so you can see this notification here. So it was given like this. We encourage young bright students with an academic bent of mind to apply for the program. We look for students who have brilliance and have technical competence through good past academic performance. That is what he has given. So here, PhD doctoral program, online application for admission 2025 is now open. So here it was given click here to apply the last date of application is January 30th 2025. So this is for admission in 2025 dear students. So the last date to apply is 30th January 2025 and here he has given some important details. So I will tell you all the details. So here you can see click here to download doctoral program admission 2025 poster and then application process related link is also given. For more queries, so you can mail at this particular email ID that was given here. Now, let us see the poster that was given. So, doctoral PhD program at the Indian Institute of Management, Calcutta. So, about the program, so here it was given the doctoral program of the Indian Institute of Management, Calcutta is a full time program offered in various specializations in management. So, various specialization specialization in management and related disciplines. The program seeks exceptionally motivated and committed students who will engage in rigorous interdisciplinary research. So, the program is committed to educating scholars who will become leaders in the fields of research. So, here IIMC doctoral program seeks out individuals who are intensively, intensely inquisitive enjoy intellectual challenges are creators of original thoughts. So that is what is their requirement. And now here the most important thing that we need to come across is the eligibility criteria. So coming to the eligibility criteria here you can observe clearly first class masters or postgraduate diploma two years in any discipline and a three years bachelor degree with at least 50 percent marks in the aggregate or CA with minimum 50% marks or CS or CMA with minimum 55% marks with BCom degree or BTEC 4 years degree with 6.5 CGPA or equivalent. So that means engineering students are also eligible. Non-engineering applicants who have undergone 10 plus 2 plus 5 years will be considered as eligible to apply for doctoral program. So in addition, the applicant must have obtained a minimum 50% marks in the aggregate in either the secondary or the higher secondary examination of the board are equivalent. So government of India guidelines for reservation are followed during admissions. So this is what is given regarding the eligibility criteria. Now let us go for the financial aid. So most important thing here is no tuition fee is charged. So there is no tuition fee. Stipend will be provided, student development support will be provided, computer grant is there, support for field work is there, teaching assistantship in the research phase, then support to attend international conference or workshop, doctoral students are usually provided accommodation in the campus on payment, some residential facilities are also available for married students. So this is about the financial aid that is provided and the major thing is no tuition fee is charged. Okay, then let us come across the admission criteria. So admission criteria here, you can see applicants for the doctoral program are required to submit CAT or other scores in lieu of CAT as specified below. The test score should be valid on January 30th, 2025. Test score should be valid on January 30th, 2025. Now let us see what are the admission criteria in detail for various specializations. 
So coming to economics part, economics part GMAT, GRE, GATE in economics. So GATE in economics is required. Then finance and control, GMAT, GRE. Then human resource management, GMAT, GRE, UGC, JRF in economics, management law. Then management information systems. So management information systems, GMAT, GRE, GATE in any discipline. GATE in any discipline, UGC, JRF in any discipline. Then marketing, GMAT, GRE, GATE in any discipline. So for marketing specialization and management information systems, GATE score in any discipline is there. Then operations management, GMAT and GRE. Then organizational behavior, organizational behavior, GMAT, GRE, GATE in any discipline, UGC, JRF in various specializations that was given here. Now, let us go for the other specializations. There are two more specializations, public policy and management, GRE, gate in architecture and planning, gate in architecture and planning, UGC net in anthropology, economics, education. So there are certain specializations for UGC net. You can see here, strategic management, GMAT, GRE, gate in any discipline. So here you can observe for four specializations, gate in any discipline students can apply like management information systems, marketing, organizational behavior and strategic management. And coming to the scores, validity of score other than GATE, uh, sorry, other than CAT, two years from the date of test and should be valid on the deadline of submission of the application form. So that means GATE 2024 score is valid, GATE 2023 score is also valid. So try to see this one. Then how to apply? So I'll tell more details about this how to apply phase and before that just look at the fee structure here. A candidate can apply to maximum of two areas of specialization. The SC, ST, OBC, EWS, PWD applicant submitting attested copy of their certificate, required certificate are required to pay application fee of 1000 rupees and all other applicants are required to pay an application fee of 2000 rupees. Applications will be received from November 1st, 2024 to January 30, 2025. For further details, he is asking us to visit their application process link. Okay, so now let us go for the application process here. See the same eligibility criteria is given in the application process. So reservation related information, admission tests, related information this is all what we have seen in the poster itself okay so the same information is there related to the application process now in the home page so here you can see phd doctoral program online application for admission 2025 is now open click here to apply so if you click here a link will be opened so you can see the link here most important information is there dear students kindly go through this carefully okay so why i am saying most important information is here it was given related to referees so instructions and information on the application procedure please contact your referees early and initiate the referral process to ensure that they submit the recommendation online within the due date an application without the complete set of referrals will be considered as incomplete. So from two persons, you need to get references. So those have to give the references online. So therefore, you need to contact these referees and before January 30th, 2025, they also have to say about you in the application process that is in the online format that will be sent to them. Okay, so here, so kindly go through this criteria very carefully. You are advised to go through the detailed eligibility and admissions criteria. For the SC, ST, OBC, EWS, PWT, need to upload, submit the copy of recent latest certificate. So recent latest certificate needed to be submitted. You may choose to apply to a maximum of two areas from the nine choices. However, there is no need to pay a second fees. So there is no need to pay a second fees. So that means two specializations you can opt at 
a single payment. Okay, then applicants are requested to fill up the referral information carefully. So, referral information should be carefully filled. So, referee information has to furnish in the online application form. Once submitted, referee details cannot be changed. So, try to understand this. Two recommendations are required. So, those referees have to give recommendations. These are mandatory for a candidate applying for the PhD. Both the referees should be persons who are in a position to comment on your candidature. So, try to understand this. At least one referee should preferably be a faculty member of a university, college or institution of higher studies and research. The application will be treated as incomplete without these two recommendation details. Once the referee details are submitted, the referees will receive an email. As I told you, so the referees will receive an email with the login credentials where they have to give the recommendation online. No hard copy of the recommendation is accepted. Okay, so as I told you, they will get a mail. So through that mail, they will have a login credential. So you, they have to go through the login credentials and enter the reference related information, whatever is asked in that online process. Then only official email IDs of the referees will be accepted. No personal email ID will be accepted. For example, Gmail, Yahoo, Rediff, Hotmail, etc they will not be accepted so the organization email so in which organizations they are working so with respect to that there will be an email id so those only will be accepted gmail hotmail ready all these are not accepted so try to go through these carefully dear students please note that once you submit the referee form you will not be allowed to change the area in which you have applied so once the referee form is submitted, so you can't change the area in which you have applied. So kindly go through that. Then the application cannot be submitted without the payment of application fee. The SCST, OBC, EW, EWS, PWD applicants submitting copy of the certificate are required to pay an application fee of 1000 rupees. Already we have seen that. And all other applicants are required to pay an application fee of 2000 rupees payment can only be made by credit debit card and net banking electronic fund transfer okay so there is no upi here so kindly go through this also a small processing fee up to approximately inr 30 as applicable will be charged by the bank debit card or credit card company so those who are unable to pay online may send a dd payable at kolkata in favor of Indian Institute of Management, Calcutta. So, the address is given here. So, kindly go through the details of this address. Then, in case you want to pay the application fee through DD, please select the draft option and provide the DD number, DD date and bank name in the given space. So, you have to fill the information here. Students applying through CAT can only apply with the scores. You may apply after the CAT results are declared. So after the CAT results are declared also, they can apply. Then in the other information page, you can only upload document, PDF and text files of your credentials. The section and form is best viewed at IE8 or above Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome. So you can see this section will be viewed in these formats only. Then coming to the supporting documents, writing and research. Please upload any published or unpublished research work which you might have completed. You may give abstracts or summaries in the entire document if the entire document cannot be applied. Then cannot be uploaded. Eligibility, an applicant of the doctoral program is required to have either first class masters or postgraduate diploma. So all these details we have discussed. So kindly go through these details. Again, specializations related information is also given. So go through that. Then coming to the admission requirements. These are very important dear students. The following conditions may lead to your ineligibility or cancellation of your application or admission offer at any stage of the admission process. If you have submitted more than one application form. 
So then misinterpretation or suppression of any information data in the application form including use of unfair means to complete the application form including plagiarism of content. So this is very important dear students don't use AI tools. So in order to do this application form fill by your own hands use your own language okay so that you will not be caught in the plagiarism don't copy and paste from google or any ai platforms okay then submission of incomplete application form informal recommendations or canvassing from any individuals or organizations apart from the requirements mentioned in the application form so some people will be asking for recommendations those are also not allowed okay so try to go through this carefully if you do not meet any of the requirements at any stage of the admission process so you will be disqualified if you have been expelled or withdrawn from any programs of iim calcutta prior to submitting your application so these are also people who are not eligible to apply for this program then one more important thing that was given is the final year students also can apply for this program because it will be starting in June. By the time they need to get their certificates and everything that are required. So because your application will be considered because you are studying final year and you have cracked any of these examinations. But once your degree is completed, you have to submit those forms then only your seat will be confirmed okay so try to go through that final year students are also eligible to apply okay if they have any of these course so try to remember this okay so this is about the procedure and here you can observe once you go through all the information click here to register is given so when you click to register a page will be opened so here username date of birth preferred email id preferred contact number then you can click on submit so that you will get the credentials then you have to log in into this iim calcutta website again and then fill all the required details okay so then the referee information everything they will be asking you they you need to upload some of the documents photo signature all those things so kindly keep all of them ready okay so this is how you need to register for this PhD admission dear students. Okay. Thank you. All the very best.